All right, welcome. So um, I've been using Eclipse for a number of years to do um, Java development, particularly when I want to make GUIs um, using Swing. Um, and I use it also for my uh, data structures in Java class. Um, but Eclipse has been getting a little strange lately, especially Window Builder. Window Builder hit some, some issues last year. So I've been considering switching over to IntelliJ. So I decided to take the plunge and try to figure out how to do basic GUI development, basic Java development in IntelliJ. And I think I've figured out at least a path through, um, through some of my initial confusion. So here's a short video that basically shows you how to do um, Java and GUI development in IntelliJ. I'm kind of assuming you've already used Swing. Um, but if not, there should be enough in here to be able to, um, to figure out the details. So obviously download IntelliJ. There's a free version and a non-free version. I've got the free version. Um, this is just for, for um, non-profit use. So, um, so I'm just going to um, say create new project. And um, mostly take defaults, OK? So I'm using a Java SDK 1.8, um, making a Java project. Um, I'll go ahead and say next and next and the only thing I have to specify is the project name. Now the first time you do this you'll need to set this up as an appropriate location, something that you back up for example. Um, but I've already done this before so that location is set up. So I can just put in the name of the project so I'm just going to call this test21 and um, wait a few seconds and you should get A development window. So I'm going to ignore the tip of the day and let me go ahead and maximize this. So here's my project test 21. So I can click on the expansion and come down here. Now I can set a package if I want. I'm not going to worry about packages right now. I'm just going for quick and, and dirty um, instant gratification. So I'm going to come down here to source. I'm going to right click on source and I'm going to select new I'm going to say new dialogue. And I can call this anything that I want, so I'll just call this my main. Um, I'm going to take off the checkboxes that say generate handlers for these buttons. We'll see those in a minute. I'm going to say OK. And this very quickly writes a bunch of code for me that um, includes a main method. And that main method um, creates a dialogue. Um, and makes it visible. So this will this will cause me to actually see a GUI pop up when I run this. So I can hit the little hammer over here to say build this and you can see it's building down here at the bottom and when it's done I'm going to run it. Normally I'll have a run button over here but the first time you do this it seems you have to go to the run dialog, select run and then tell it what configuration you want to run. I want to run my main so I'll select that and it runs and there's my dialog box. So, and the buttons don't do anything because I didn't install handlers, but um, anyway, I've got a GUI popped up, so kind of instant gratification um, right off the bat. So, um, let's do some stuff. So, you notice there's two tabs up here. There's the Java tab, which is where this code is. There's also a form tab. The form tab is a drag and drop window where you can basically take different components and put them in to design what you want your GUI to look like. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to left click on one of these components and I'm going to start hitting the delete button to get rid of all these things that were created for me. So now I've got an empty J panel. The layout manager is a grid layout manager that's IntelliJ specific as far as I know. I'm just going to go ahead and use that. There's no uh, absolute layout manager in IntelliJ as far as I can find. So you have to learn how, how to interact with a layout manager and this one take some getting used to for me, but, um, but it seems to be workable. So let's, um, let's design a GUI. So let's take a button. I'm going to left click on the button, just left click and release. And now I can drag that button and place it anywhere that I want in my window. I'm going to put it up here in the upper left corner. And now I'm going to take a J text field. I'm going to left click on that, come over here and drop it right next to the button by just left clicking in this area. And now if I run this, and I've got my run button here, if I run this, um, I've got my new form. And it's got a button and it's got a text area. All right, so let's tie some code into this. Um, let me start off by clicking on this and let me change the name of this to count. And let me go to my button 
and let me change the name of this to go and let me come down here and change the text on the button to click me and let me change the text in this text area to a zero all right so here's what i'm going to do i'm going to left click on click me okay select that i'm going to right click and i'm going to say create a listener okay listeners are things that will be um, called when certain events happen related to your components so i'm going to say create listener and I want an action listener. Action listeners for button mean, means uh, when the button is pressed. Um, focus listener is called when the uh, component gets or loses focus. Uh, mouse listener can be called when you mouse over a component, for example. So I want an action listener. And the only option is action perform for button. So I'll say OK. And it writes some more code for me. So to my go button, it's added an action listener. Um, and created a method called action perform. So I can do whatever I want in here. So I'm just going to do the following um, system out print line hello. And I'm going to go ahead and build that and execute it. So it's building, it's running, there it goes, it's executing. And every time I click click me, it prints out hello over here. Okay, and, and by the way, even though I maximize this um, this application, right, my, my GUI is totally its own window. It's not part of IntelliJ's window. So nothing goofy going on there. All right, so, um, so we've got GUIs popping up, and we've got buttons, and we can click on them, and we can do things with code. So this is, this is a pretty rapid development. Let's, um, let's do something else here. So let me comment this out. And let me write some different code. So let's make an integer C. And I want to read the value in that count window and change it into an integer. So I'm going to say integer dot parseint. And you notice that as you're typing, you're getting suggestions down here. So there's parseint. And I can click on that and, and have it fill in some of my text for me. Um, I'm just going to type this by hand. So what am I going to parse? I'm going to parse um, count dot get text. So I'm going to read the text from the count window. I'm going to parse it as an integer and turn that into C. I'll add some comments just to impress my students. So um, C is the current count. So we'll do an old school increment. And then I want to update the count field. So I'm going to say count.setText. And if I just set it to C, it's going to complain because set text is supposed to take a string. So I'm going to take my integer C and I'm just going to add an empty string to it. That forces it into a string, calls a two string method. And so this should update the count accordingly. So let's go ahead and run this. And there's our window. And every time I click the click me button, the count increments by one. But once you start doing this, once you get into this, this basic framework where you have a GUI, you have components, you can set up listeners, then you're just writing Java code. It really, it really gets to be fun to do development here because um, you don't have to really mess around too much with all the details of making these things appear. Um, you can just kind of concentrate on the Java code. So here's something else we can do. Let's change the label on our, our window every five clicks. So I'm going to say if um, C% 5 equals zero. And I'll change the title to A. All right, and I'm throwing in curly brackets because I always tell my students use curly brackets even if you're just doing a single if statement. And you know, ideally you would actually put some space in here. make this thing look properly indented. All right, so I should have just done that first time. Um, so um, every five clicks, this should change the title, and it's the title of the main dialog. Um, so here we go, we'll click the button, one, two, three, four, and every fifth click, it'll say yay. And we can keep clicking, and it says yay, and so on. All right, not a big deal, just, just basic uh, functionality. Let's do one more embellishment on this. Let's add another button. So I'm going to left click on button, 
come over here. Now, if I drop this right here, it's going to cause this left column to get spread out, and I'm going to have two buttons with a lot of space between them. I don't really want that to happen, so I'm going to undo that with a Control Z. I'm going to take a button, and I'm going to drop it right underneath, click me, but on top of this spring. And these springs are part of the layout manager. And honestly, for me, the hardest part of using this layout manager is understanding what I have to do to place things where I want them. But, um, but it seems to be intuitive once you, once you kind of mess around with it long enough. So I'm going to call this button clear, um, the text on it. I don't really care what the button itself is called. It's actually a clear button. That's kind of cool. So um, I'm going to right click. I'm going to say create a listener, add an action listener, action performed. And my action is simply going to be um, count dot set text, and I'll just set the text to a zero. So when I hit the clear button, it should set the text to zero, and since that's where I'm keeping the count, it should reset the count. So go ahead and run that, and let me close out this window, and uh, click this, and it counts up by fives. And every five entries, it says yay, and if I hit the clear button, it goes back to zero. All right, so so um, just a basic introduction there to to um, creating a GUI, hooking some code up to actions on uh, on components, doing a little bit of layout, and um, that should be enough to hopefully get you going. All right, thanks for listening. Have a good one. Bye.